Did you know that I-beams are actually the ninth iteration of structural beams? First, they started with A-beams, and then B-beams. C. So, what is the moment of inertia? It's a property of a shape. It's basically how far all of that area is out from its center. It's one of the biggest things in structural engineering because it governs bent which is, you know, you take something and you bend it in half. The further out all the area is, the harder it is to bend. So things with a bigger moment of inertia don't bend as much. And that's why, you know, if you take a ruler and you bend it one way, it's really easy, and you try to bend it the other way, it's really hard. Because the moment of inertia gets bigger if you turn it and try to bend it the other direction. Do you know why it's called the moment of inertia? I don't. I, I think it's something to do with, like, the resistance to inertia, to yeah. its tendency to have inertia and not move. Yeah. But. Pause. Hey guys, Rohan here. Let's take a moment and talk about why it's actually called moment of inertia. Let's break it down into two words. Inertia is the property that keeps objects at rest unless acted upon by an external force, meaning an object isn't going to move unless you push it. Moment is when you take an object and you apply a load at a certain distance from a point. So example, I take this beam, I apply a load here, it's going to cause a moment at this point here. Now if we take the same beam again, and we apply a load at midpoint, we take a cross section at some point throughout the beam. That load is going to cause a moment on that cross section, which is going to result in a deflection. And as Kieran pointed out earlier, the property that resists that deflection and moment is the moment of inertia. Now the word inertia comes into play because that cross section is not going to deflect unless acted upon by that external moment. I hope that clears up why it's called moment of inertia. And now you guys can go back to the video and continue watching Kieran explain it a bit more. Unpause. How do we use the moments of inertia in everyday life? If you ever walked over something and you felt it flex, that's because the moment of inertia is allowing it to deflect that much. If it had a higher moment of inertia, such as this concrete floor, mm -hmm. you wouldn't feel it flex as much. And how do you use the moments of inertia in structural engineering? So we use I-beams in all buildings. That, that's why they're that shape. Every time I see a beautiful support system, I get so happy. You can actually see it on my face. I-beam. Anyway, back to the video. What are they made out of? Well, typically steel, but you can also, they started making the metal wood and uh, concrete as well. The reason for that is it just takes all of that area and it puts it at the top and the bottom, which mm -hmm. is as far away from the center as you can get. Yeah, it also governs how fast things and how much force they take to twist. So if you take a ball that's really yeah. round and you feel it and you can spin it really fast. Yeah. But if you take that ball that has the same mass and weight and you mm -hmm. make it all the mass and weight way further out, you gotta spin it. Oh, it's not gonna spin. be a lot harder. Have you ever broken anything in this job? When you sound concrete, you walk around with a hammer and you whack it to see if it makes sounds. And sometimes when it's really bad, you whack it and the whole thing comes apart. <gasps> is that if it's like old concrete or just not? Really, really old or it wasn't well poured. So what are the sounds you're looking for? If it sounds hollow. So if you hit it and it kind of reverberates around, yeah. that means it's bad and it's delaminated. And then if you hit it and it comes apart, well, that's, just, that's real bad. That's really bad. <laughs> this stuff, this is good. Doesn't sound hollow to me. Can you imitate the sound? Pink. There's pink, that's the good sound, and then there's yeah. oh, and that's the bad sound. When was the last time you like freaked out? I tend to do a lot of raging in Sahu. Oh yeah. Because that is a good place to rage. I play defense, which is nice because then if I rage, I just take people out. Yeah. And I'm doing my job. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, honestly, that was like pretty boring. It's like whatever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's all I got. All right. <laughs> What's the deal with the point of inertia? I don't know. <laughs> Here's Karen! <laughs> <laughs>